just storming through the woods ahead of us. <laughs> There's this mushroom as well. I think that's a different mushroom you just found. So I'm visiting Bugoma in Tatarstan for the weekend. Uh, Bugoma is 1,000 kilometers east of Moscow, uh, which seems like quite a lot to an English person. But in fact, uh, on a Russian map, if you look, it doesn't seem very far at all. Now, I wasn't planning on vlogging at all um, during this trip. It was more about meeting Nastya's family for the first time. Um, but it's just been so lovely. Like yesterday, we were, her granddad was playing balalaika, we went for a little paddle boat ride on the on the lake here and ended up drinking uh, too much vodka with her uncle. I'm not used to that at all, but it was fun. And we also went bowling where her dad's best friend works as an engineer and he took me behind the scenes to uh, to see how the bowling pins are sorted and restacked. Uh -huh. And Sergey, the bowling engineer, is also a bit of a mushroom expert and he offered to take us mushroom picking today, which is something I've always wanted to do. Um, obviously in England we have the tradition of picking mushrooms. Mushrooms! But somehow it's been lost as an activity and I'm looking forward to someone telling me which mushrooms are edible and which ones are going to kill me. But before we do that today, I thought I'd take a little walk down to the central square in Bogoma. That is Lenin Square. And take a few hyperlapses. Um, might not be as good as I had planned because there are fewer clouds in the sky than there were yesterday. And there are not as many people milling around, so there won't be that much movement. Uh, but still. Hopefully we'll get an interesting time lapse and I will post it right now. That's all the hype lapse is done for this morning. I'm heading off back to the flat to get some breakfast and then we're off mushroom picking. <laughs> So we stopped off on the way, uh, on the way to getting mushrooms in the woods uh, at uh, Nastya's granddad's girlfriend's house uh, and what was supposed to be tea turned into a banquet and four or five vodka shots so, so you get an idea of how this day's going but I wanted to bring you out here because check out these amazing old banya buildings Russian style countryside houses so amazing and also I've been told there are bees So yeah, we're out in the middle of nowhere in um, in rural rural Tatarstan, and it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, clouds have come in a little bit, but the nature here is just gorgeous. Um, and we were just in the woods collecting mushrooms. Oi! I found one. 
Now that is a giant mushroom. How do we know this one isn't poisonous? I don't get it. It's really fun, I didn't want to film too much of it though. I only got this one type of mushroom. I'm not sure what type of mushroom it was, and I won't know until I go home and research it. I know the Russian name for it, or I'd recognise the Russian name for it if I am, um, if I heard it again. Um, but I'll flash it up on the screen right now so you will know what it is. As you might be able to tell from my uh, pink complexion and wet hair, we've also just been in, um, in the banya, which is the Russian, Russian version of the sauna where grown men get inside a steaming hot room and beat each other with birch twigs. <laughs> I actually really want to import it to England. I think it's just the sort of thing that we'd love in the UK. I mean, we have saunas and we have steam rooms, but they're always just so, I don't know, they either smell of chlorine or they're not hot enough. Even even here, like it's like the Finnish saunas, you know, you always see them with those stupid hats on, uh, little Robin Hood hats that are made out of felt. And in England, we don't do that at all. And you can only spend, uh, I don't know, a couple of minutes inside a sauna before your head gets baked and you start feeling dizzy and you need to get out. But actually there's a whole ritual involved in Russian sauna and um, and I really think there's a place for that in the in the long, cold, wet UK winter. Sergei and Lena, the people who own the dacha out here, have just got the most beautiful lifestyle as well. Um, I mean, I don't eat potatoes, but they grow all of their own produce. I mean, you can see the potatoes here. And they've just got, they've got everything. They've got beans, they've got cucumbers, they've got all sorts of berries. It's just such a such a nice such a nice place to to come after a week at work and raise your own fruit and food. Our last day here we're heading back to Moscow later today have to work tomorrow uh, last night was fun had a barbecue cooked some shashlik uh, and this morning I had for breakfast what I've been having every day actually which is a uh, cottage cheese uh, Russian forog mixed with uh, smetana which is sour cream but this smetana is a really thick almost cl like clotted cream it's absolutely delicious but I don't usually react to dairy that much but just no end of dairy in Russia, you just can't, can't really avoid it, but really enjoyed our time here. Um, but looking forward, to, looking forward to going back to Moscow and, uh, and being back in our own space. Definitely recommend visiting some of these smaller Russian towns if you have a chance. The friendliness of the people is unparalleled. Seriously, I've done a lot of traveling in my life and um, you rarely get a welcome like you do uh, in Russia and within Russian families. <laughs> 